Alrighty guys, welcome back to yet another Nightingale video. In this one, we're going to go over how to find and take down the Sun Giant. If you guys didn't know already, there are a few mini bosses in game that you can kill before the end game vault bosses, including the Sun Giant, Humbaba, Eldorotan, and Carnut. Now be sure to smash that like and subscribe button for more Nightingale content and leave a comment down below if you guys have any other video ideas you'd like to see for Nightingale in the future. But enough messing about, let's jump on into the video. So the good thing about Nightingale is they've made it pretty darn easy for you to find all the mini bosses in game as they're all located in the hunt realms. The Sun Giant can be found in a desert hunt realm and it's a bit of a pain as he is the only mini boss or apex creature, whatever you want to call him, that actually moves around the map. So you will actually need to kind of like run around aimlessly until you find him or you can be smart and you can actually use the track legend spell on your hunting knife, which once cast will actually reveal a golden trail that leads uh, directly to an apex creature. And it, honestly, it'll save you so much time in the long run, especially if you want to keep farming these apex creatures. Now that we've found and tracked down the sun giant, let's talk about how to take him down. Honestly, these are really straightforward. All the apex creatures have one critical spot, which deals an insane amount of damage. Um, if you can keep hitting them. So for the Sun Giant, it's the golden spherical object around his neck that he will use to actually cast his attacks. So make this your priority to uh, target. But honestly, enough enough talk. <laughs> Let's jump on into some gameplay of us taking down the Sun Giant. Alrighty, guys. Let's go. Let's go kill ourselves the Sun God. You guys didn't know you can actually find the, uh, the Sun God Giants in the Hunt Desert Realm. Well, you guys didn't know, there's, uh, there's three like little bosses in each of the hunt realms. You've got the Elder Odin in the forest, you've got the Sun God in the desert, and you've also got um, a Sun Giant, sorry. And then, is it Hababa in the hunt swamp? Yeah, I can't remember what the uh, giant dragon thing's name is. I think it's Hababa. Alright, so his weak point is on his that gem, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, weak points on this gem. Let's switch over. Just do a little bit more damage. Give him. Take that ankles, take that. Oh, Stompy. Guys, I think he's angry. <laughs> there we go. That took so much unnecessary damage there, but it's okay. Oh, Maddie's down. I thought he's... I was going to say, I thought this thing would have gone by now, but... Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's, it's that easy, guys. Like, you could have done... I could have done it a lot uh, more uh, smoothly than that. But, yeah, for the sake of the video, I thought we'd get up close and personal. Use Quake. But, yeah, so if you've got the, uh, if you've got the guns, use the guns on the jam at the front. Uh, it is his crit spot and you can honestly get some serious damage off those crit spots and that's only default rounds as well You can probably uh, do a lot more damage with these special rounds. So just keep that in mind But uh, yeah, nice and easy So that's gonna do it for this video on how to find and take down the Sun Giant in Nightingale I hope you all enjoyed if you did be sure to smash the like and subscribe button as it really helps the channel out And it's free. So what are you waiting for? All kidding aside if you have any future Nightingale videos you'd like to see or any other game you'd like to see me cover, be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll catch you all in the next one.